But throughout 10 of those, those 11 Confederate states, all black men got the right to vote. And because of the Reconstruction Amendment, um, one of the four Reconstruction Amendments. So in, I call the summer of 1867 the first freedom summer. 80%, Joe. 80% of all eligible black men registered to vote. Think of that. We don't have 80% anybody registered to vote <laughs> today. 80% of them. And these men were largely illiterate because enslaved people um, were barred from learning to read and write by law. Nevertheless, they registered to vote. And in the general election of 1868, guess what? They actually voted. They cast their ballots. 500,000 men cast their ballots for Ulysses S. Grant in 1868. Ulysses S. Grant won the uh, uh, Electoral College overwhelmingly, but he only won the popular vote by just over 300,000 votes. So in effect, black men had elected a president. And in South Carolina, that was ground zero for black reconstruction 